In today's video, we will create our second project, a YouTube script summarizer using the free source model Distilbart CNN 12-6, which we introduced in our last project. If you haven't watched the first part of this series, I highly recommend going through that video first to gain a better understanding before you start this one. So let's start working on our second project, YouTube Script Summarizer. In the, last, in the first part of uh, this series, we already have worked upon Text Summarizer. So we'll be extending that project. So in this project, what we are going to do is, we will first write a script that will get the content from a YouTube video. We will save that content, pass that content to our model to summarize that text. In that way, we can utilize it for kind of real world application, right? If you want to uh, summarize any particular YouTube video, you can actually uh, use that application to summarize that, right? So let's get started. To start working on it, uh, as you remember, we, we created one folder, text summarizer. So I'll be creating another file and I'll put the name as YouTube Summarizer, okay? And I'll press enter. So my new, new file has been created. Now the question is, I mentioned that we need to write a code to um, get the content from YouTube video. Now the question is, are we going to really, are, are we really going to write that code? No. Why to write that code? Because uh, there are companies invested millions and billions of dollars to and give us a tool that basically, uh, you know, write a code on our behalf. So let's try chat GPT for that. <clears throat> I'll open chat GPT and I'll Okay, let's type the prompt uh, and see whether you whether ChatGPT is able to give us the code or not. Could you please write a Python a script that would take a YouTube URL YouTube URL as input and give the transcript of that video as output. Okay, let's see whether it is able to provide us the code or not. Okay, so it has started writing the code and it is asking me what is the process to um, track the content from that video. Okay, so it has given me the code. Let's try to see whether it is working fine or not. So I'll just copy code. Uh, so first one it is saying, so first I'll copy code and then I'll go to our script. I'll type it here. Okay, then it is also asking me to install this library. So what I'll do is, as I have explained in my last uh, video, right? How you can install uh, any library. So to do that, you'll just go anywhere and then then just uh, maybe here and then right click open in terminal and i'll paste the code and it has started um so it's, it has successfully installed the library now let's quickly try to run this code and see whether it's working fine or not and for that i'll be utilizing one of my videos to convert that script okay so i have copied the link from one of my videos and i'll just paste it here to see whether it's working fine or not i'll run this code okay seems like there's some problem with this um, regex so let's ask ChatGPT to correct the code. Is failing. So let's see. Ideally, ChatGPT should get, give me the different code. Okay. So let's wait for it to complete. Okay, so let me copy paste again. I'll just replace complete code. Okay, let's try to run it again. Okay, as you can see, it has given me the transcript of that video. 
okay so it means the code worked fine and you see if i'll start writing the code by myself maybe it will take half an hour an hour, an hour to complete right but with chat gpt it took me around five minutes to have this code ready now let's try to understand what this code does so basically this code is kind of uh, get youtube transcript we pass the youtube url and then it give me the um, basically transcript so now it is returning text uh, transcript right but i do not want to do that i actually want to have um i call it the summary of this uh, whole uh, text the transcript that we are getting from youtube so to do that let, let us copy paste the old code one by one so i'll just uh, the i'll import i'll just copy paste import part the libraries that was required to be import imported so i'll just copy paste here then again we'll be using transformer so again i'll be pasting it over here then again i'll copy this code and the same because as i mentioned we'll be using the same code right the same um, code to summarize it right and finally we have one function uh, let's copy this function and i'll paste it over here okay and then um, the last part is gradio right or uh, before doing that let's see um, whether it is working fine or not so this is the function that we had basically that returns the summary text right and this is the code this is the um, text that was kind of transcript for the video that we provide so here what we can do is we can write summary underscore text is equal to summary and then in the input i'll be providing this text transcript okay and rather than returning text uh, text, text transcript i'll be returning summary text got my point right so rather than text transcript this uh, text transcript is something that is the transcript of youtube video right i'm passing that transcript to my model to summarize and then it this function is responsible for summarizing the test as you have seen in my last video i already have explained everything so i'm not repeating it myself if, if you haven't watched that video just go go and watch that video first and then i'm returning this summary text right so let's run this code again will take some time uh, to for our model to process the transcript that we have got from youtube and then summarize it right so let's wait for that to uh, happen and then we'll we'll also integrate it with gradio if it works fine so whenever you write some code you it is necessary to test that code on every step so that uh, you can resolve any bug if you find okay so as you can see my text has been summarized right my video was of around five minutes and now it is it gave me the summarized text okay so it means that my script is working fine now let's integrate gradio so that we can also see we can have some nice url and we can test it um, using that user interface so for that i'll be copying the same um, code that we wrote in our last um, project i'll just copy paste and then i'll comment this print section because that is not required here i just need to so what i need to pass i first need to pass input youtube url to summarize and then it should be a single text box i'll just keep line as one then output is summarized text that's okay and then title is generative generally learniverse project 2 youtube script summarizer this application will be used to summarize the uh, youtube video script okay so ideally everything should work fine now let's try to run this code okay wait there's one mistake that i have done in terms of function right right now it is calling summary however we have changed the function we should be using this get youtube script function right because this is the one that will be that will be we will be utilizing okay so let's change this function as get youtube transcript and then i'll also comment this line of code and i'll just copy paste this video url so that to make sure that we paste it in the radio link input um, url link okay so my link has been generated i'll click over here 
and then as you can see general universe projective youtube script summarizer then input youtube url to summarize so i'll paste youtube url i'll click click submit and then let's see it in couple of seconds it should be able to give you the summary of the video link that i have shared okay as you can see my summarized text has been generated it means our project is working perfectly fine the only one issue i see here is that this everything is in caps this one is not in camel key so i'll just go ahead and quickly change that i'll stop this project and i change everything to caps now my project is ready and if you are following along um if you are also coding along with me your you you have also successfully completed your second your second gen ai project now the final part in the final part as you know we need to we will be deploying our change to hugging face so that you can share this your work with your friend family or if you want to share it on linkedin you can also do that okay so to do that i'll be going to my hugging face okay and then i'll go to spaces i'll create create new space i'll mention youtube summarizer license i'll select it as apache 2.0 i'll select radio blank i'll keep this space hardware same i'll keep it public and i'll create space okay so i already have explained how you can add different files but just to quickly give you again i'll be doing the same thing i'll be creating a new file i'll say requirements.txt then we have uh, transformers right if you have seen my previous video i already have explained why i'm including all those libraries torch gradio and there is one more library that we installed today right so i'll also have to mention this one right so i'll go back and add this one as well click on commit new file to main now again i'll create another file as we did in, my, in our last project so i'll create this as app.py and then i'll copy paste my code but as you remember uh, in my last project also i commented this code because this was for my local and i uncommented this code so i'll do the same for this project as well i'll just control c and control v okay and then i'll commit new file to main okay so my file has been committed now i'll just as soon as i'll go to app it will be uh, showing me the status whether it is so as you can see my project is right now in a building phase so it is kind of uh, compiling all my libraries installing all the libraries and compiling the code so in couple of seconds uh, it should have um, if everything goes fine then we should have our application running on hugging face that that can be shared with anyone we want okay so as you can see my application is up and running and this is general learning verse project 2 youtube script summarizer let's quickly see whether it is working fine or not i'll just paste the same youtube url over here and then i'll click on submit okay. congratulations you just have completed your second gen AI project so click the like button if you like this video and also consider subscribing to this channel thank you so much